check it out. I was gathering wood for a fire and just found this little bitty double bit hatchet laying in the weeds. Looks like it's been there for a while. It's got a maker's mark on it, but I can't read it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean this bad boy up and uh, see what it can do. Nice. Man, I've been looking for one of these for a long time. Sweet. So, first thing I'm going to do with this, um, you know, no expert at this, but I'm just taking a wire brush and I'm getting all the surface rust off, just kind of loosening it up. Plus, there was a lot of dirt and all kinds of grit and stuff on this because it was pretty much down in the ground. But I got down to it, and it looks like, you probably can't read it, but it says Norlund. Looks like a pretty old double bit hatchet. But now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a piece of this wire. This is copper wire. And let's see how am I going to want to do that. I'll just rig this wire up on here to conduct some electricity. I'll take it right over here. Hold on. And I'm going to go ahead and put it right into this little electrolysis tank. But first I need to turn it off. Just want to make sure that it's not touching any of the anodes. Turn it back on here. Let's come in close and see if it's doing anything. So now I've got a, an old black powder pistol in here. This is an old Rapala fillet knife that I found and I got the little double bit hatchet in there and you can see it's already starting to react taking that rust right off of there alright well I went ahead and uh, cleaned this up once I pulled it out of that electrolysis um, the head had came loose from the handle so what I ended up having to do was take, um, well actually I just made a swedge or a drift to drive the handle out of the axe head. And this is just an old piece of cherry wood that I had cut and whittled to the shape of the eye of the axe. So that it'll fit in there like that and knock that handle out of there. And the old wedge was all rotted, so I just took a shim, uh, just like the shims you get at the hardware store for shimming up uh, projects around the house, and I used that as a wedge, and I just uh, refit it with a new wedge, and now it's uh, solid as a rock. I'm going to bring you a little closer here. give you a little, little better look at how I uh, 
how I managed to drive this on here so far because it's actually way past the original mark and all you do is you uh, with the wedge out you slide the axe head onto the handle and then you just hold the handle like this and you just hit like that and that will force that head to go up onto that and it's a real tight fit and it's nice and solid and if you look it's uh, nice and straight you know it's not cocked off to one side or the other now when I first put this on here um, it was cocked off to the side so I had to drive it back out with the drift or swedge and uh, flip the head around and then it it fit nice and straight nice and plumb whatever you want to call it that's it my little uh, 1960s 70s era Norlund uh, saddle cruiser double bit hatchet thanks for watching and thanks for all the comments and support